Hi guys and welcome to English Mania. My name is Antonio Ramacher and today we're going to talk about a very confusing set of words. Travel, traveling, trip, journey, tour, voyage and cruise. OMG! <laughs> So let's get to the bottom of this and try to understand the difference. First of all, let's talk about the word travel. It is mostly used as a verb and it means to go from one place to another, to move from one place to another. In other words, it means to make a journey, usually over a long distance. After graduating, I am planning to travel across Europe. You can use expressions like to travel first class, to travel light, that is having almost no luggage, or to travel abroad. Travel can also be used as an adjective. That's why you can use expressions like a travel agency, a travel agent, travel expenses, and things like that. When travel is used as a noun, it presupposes an act of traveling, going from one place to another. My husband and I share a love of literature, food and travel. They offer a 10% discount on rail travel for students. You can also say on air travel, on foreign travel. Traveling is also a general term and it refers to the activity of travel. I love the work, but I hate the traveling involved. The job involves a great deal of traveling. Traveling is also used as a participle and you can use expressions like a traveling exhibit. And now let's move on to the second word, trip. It can be used as a noun, mostly it is used as a noun, and it means a journey in which you go to another place and usually this journey takes a rather short period of time. It's a short journey and you definitely come back. So you go someplace and you come back. You take a trip. The most frustrating thing about these words is that when you try to find the definition of a certain word in a dictionary, you find the other word, like a journey, inside this definition. The trip from York to Newcastle takes about an hour by train. We are going on a trip to Norway this summer. Summer? Really? You can use expressions like a round trip, a business trip, a shopping trip, a school trip, um, a trip abroad. The trip went well. So you can take a trip for business or for pleasure. Which one do you prefer? Can you do both at the same time? Be careful. If you use trip as a verb, it has a slightly different meaning. It means to lose your balance after knocking your foot against something. She tripped and fell down. Now, let's move on to the word journey. As a noun, journey means the act of traveling from one place to another, especially in a vehicle. And here we usually mean the time and the distance you cover when you move from one place to another. I love going on long journeys. How long did your journey take? You can use journey in a figurative meaning and say something like this. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. There's also a very popular set expression, have a safe journey, have a comfortable journey. As for the word tour, 
It means visiting many places on a trip. We went on a tour to Spain last summer. It was magical. Have you ever been on a tour? This word can also be used as a verb. I toured Europe with my friends. Now, when we talk about the word voyage, it is a long journey on a ship. His second voyage led to the discovery of several Caribbean islands. We are talking about Christopher Columbus here, right? And this word voyage can also be used as a verb. And finally, cruise. It is a tour on a ship. This word can also be used as a verb. We cruised all around Bodensee last summer. Okay, that's it. Let's quickly refresh our memory. Travel is a general term. Means going from one place to another, usually for a long time. It can be used as a verb too. Traveling is also a very general term and it presupposes the activity of traveling. Trip is a short journey. You go somewhere and you come back. Short trip. Journey is the time and distance you cover when you travel somewhere. Voyage is a long journey on a ship. Tour is a trip on which you visit many places. Cruise is a tour on a ship. Okay, that's it. I hope that today we have cleared things out and now you understand the difference between all these words a little bit better. If you have any questions, write a comment. Write your own examples in comments. It will help you remember the material much better. Also, like and share if you want me to make more English videos for you. And subscribe if you want to continue studying English with me on this channel. So, hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye!